Hello and welcome to the webinar with the topic Wolf Smart Set App Features of the Smartphone Version. Before we take a closer look at the app and its features, let's take a quick look at the Wolf Smart Set system. The Wolf Smart Set system is a system in which Wolf heating, air handling systems, as well as combined heat and power can be integrated. The system can be operated and monitored locally or via the Internet worldwide. An interface module Wolflink Home or Wolflink Pro is required for integration. Operation, programming and monitoring are carried out via the SmartSet portal or the SmartSet app for the smartphone, tablet or PC. In this webinar we will only take a closer look at the app for the smartphone or tablet. The Wolf SmartSet app is available for free of charge on the App Store and Google Play Store. Please note the system requirements. For Apple iOS 9.0 and above and for Android 4.2 and above. 20 different languages are integrated in the app. We recommend that you always download the latest software version of the SmartSet app. Here you see an extract from the setting options. You can adjust the temperature from plus 4 to minus 4, change the operating mode, individually adjust three time programs, switch between the ventilation levels, call up a fault message history, issue releases, store notification targets, add or remove systems, edit system settings and make profile settings. In addition, general information about the app is available. After you have downloaded the app, a demo access is available to you before you register. Registration for use is not necessary. Two systems are stored in the demo access. A detached house with a gas condensing boiler CGP2, a domestic ventilation system CWL and a solar system, a gas condensing boiler MGK2, an air handling system and a combined heat and power unit are located for the industrial property. With the help of the demo access, you can test the functional range of the app at any time free of charge. The Wolf SmartSet app includes a commissioning assistant to enable the first commissioning of the Wolflink Home and Wolflink Pro interface modules in an easy way. This is called up via the menu in the upper left area. Pre-registration is not necessary. Of course, the system can also be operated and monitored in the local network. The use without internet button is available for this purpose. After that, the system can be selected. Please note that your smartphone must be on the same network as the system. Now let us dedicate ourselves to the functional scope of the app. Up to six categories are available. Heating, domestic hot water, solar, air handling, domestic ventilation and CHPs. Of course, the system must exist and be integrated into the eBus system. At first glance, the most important settings and display values are available. If you are interested in further settings and display values, click on Show More. Infotext should support you in using the app. Let's open the Wolf SmartSet app on the smartphone. The start mask appears. To log in, you can enter the SmartSet username and password here. Then click on Login. If you do not have a SmartSet account yet, you can create an account. Click on Register now, free of charge. Fill in the registration form, click on Register. You will receive the confirmation code by email. If you already have a confirmation code, press here. 
enter the confirmation code and click on complete registration. If you have forgotten your username, you can request a new username by email. If you have forgotten your password, please request a security code by email. After receiving the code, press here, enter the security code and set a new password. Click on Save to save the new password. Use without internet allows you to operate and monitor the system locally. Make sure your phone is on the same network. Stop local use and open the menu. Here you can call up information about the app. Start the commissioning assistant. Please note that the commissioning assistant can only be called up via the menu before logging in. If you are logged in, you have to log out. The language can be changed. The terms of use and data protection notice can be read and the company details can be opened. We are opening the demo access now. First we get to the system selection. Here you can see all systems which are assigned to your account. Own systems and approved systems. As already mentioned before, you have two options for the demo access, a detached house and an industrial property. With the plus icon in the upper right area, new attachments can be added. Of course, attachments that have already been added can be deleted. Click on delete at the selected system. You will then be notified whether you really want to delete this attachment. Please confirm with OK. However, we click here on Cancel and open the system with the name Detached House. In the upper area, we see the different categories. Heating, domestic hot water, ventilation and solar. Let's start with the category heating. We can adjust the temperature from minus 4 to plus 4 by sliding or tapping plus and minus. The operating mode can be changed just below it. Let's change the operating mode to standby for example. An information text about the operating mode appears. Press activate to activate the operating mode. In the lower area, you have the possibility to tap on Show More. The name of the heating generator can be changed individually. Display values can be read out. Mixer circuits can also be named individually. The holiday mode can be activated for a defined period of time. From 50 minutes to 24 hours by dragging the button or for a longer period using the detail setting. Save activates and the holiday mode. The party mode can also be activated in the app. From the time setting identical to the holiday mode. Here too, the party mode is only activated by saving. Three time programs can be individually programmed. 
we see that time program two is activated and we open it. By dragging the ends of the red bar, we can adjust the time program individually. By clicking on the dark gray time bar, a new red bar can be added. Maximum three red bars in a timeline. By tapping once on the red bar, it is possible to delete it. In the upper right area, there is an icon. This allows switching between the three time programs. We switch to time program one and make a modification. Now we want to activate time program 1 instead of time program 2. To do this, after save time program, click enable time program. Time program 1 is activated now. Now we are switching to the domestic hot water category. It can be adjusted here via the slider or via plus minus the hot water temperature. It is also possible to change the operating mode. One time domestic hot water can be activated. To do this, select on and confirm by clicking done. Here too, individual naming and programming of the three time programs is possible. These settings can be made in the same way as in the heating category. Let us go to the category of ventilation. First, you can switch between reduced ventilation and nominal ventilation. The corresponding air quantities can be programmed via CWL parameters. If automatic mode is activated, switching takes place between nominal ventilation within the switching times and reduced ventilation outside the switching times. In the show more area, the intensive ventilation function can be activated from 50 minutes to 24 hours by pulling the button or for a longer period using the detail setting and then saving. Moisture protection can be activated in the same way as intensive ventilation. The setting of the time programs can be done in the same way as in the previous categories. Otherwise, different display values are available in the lower area. Let's take a last look at the category Solar. We are seeing different values. In the show more area, we can read out additional display values and call up solar statistics. We call up the solar statistics and can display the monthly and annual yields. In this case, in kilowatt hours. The unit can be changed with the three points icon in the upper right area, for example, in natural gas. Now we see the savings from the solar systems in cubic meters. We finish the solar statistics and open the menu. To do this, click on the icon in the upper left area. We see at first glance which systems we are connected 
and with which account we are logged in. In the first step, we press system information. Here you can change the system image, change the system name, change the operator, add the location, contact info, descriptions, installation date and comments can be stored. Please do not forget to save. Next, we look at the messages. Here we have an overview of active messages and the messages history of your installation. What fault code and its meaning? When did the fault occur? When was it corrected? In the upper right area, there is a mail icon, so it is possible to send a message directly to Wolf Service. Wolf Service will be contact you by email within a short time. Let's open the notification. If you enter your email address here, you will receive the latest news about your system. A new email address can be added using the plus in the upper right area with the symbol waste bin to the right of the email address. The email address can be deleted again. Now we open the activations. You can unlock other Wolf SmartSet users, for example, your installer for a Wolf system. To do this, click on the plus in the upper right area. You can now enter the username and define the access right. User read, user write, contractor read and contractor write. In the event that you activate the Wolf service, the access contractor right is automatically stored. Let's call up the profile settings via the menu. Here you can change your user profile. You can also log out. Please note that you can only log out in this area. After logging out, you will return to the start screen. The password can also be changed. If you want to delete the SmartSet account, this is also possible here. Let's get back to the menu. In the general area, you will find information about the app, the language selection, the terms of use, the data protection notice, and the company details. Now we open the industrial property in the system selection. The same adjustment options are available as in the detached house system. However, this is a gas condensing boiler MGK2 instead of a gas condensing boiler CGP2. The main difference to the detached house systems are two categories, air handling and CHP unit. In the air handling category, a room temperature setting in Kelvin can be made by the slider. In the show more area, we see variation systems data. You can also activate an utility time extension and confirm it by choosing done. Furthermore, the intermittent ventilation function can be activated in the same way. In the last category, CHP units, only display values are available. Now you have got to know the full range of functions of the Wolf SmartSet app. Just try out the demo access yourself. I wish you a simple system operation with the Wolf SmartSet app and goodbye.